They say if you are an old person and the sun rises, just do something. A celebration of where they came from and who they are. These Somali women are reconnecting with their roots through an arts and crafts project. With this project, I wanted to engage with people and communities who haven't had the chance to explore their creativity and also just challenge them to think outside the box and just try something new. And I felt like there wasn't anything creative um, for especially my community, so, uh, Somali women, and I just wanted to introduce them to it. Hafsa is working with these Somali women who are currently in a sheltered home by connecting them through textiles from their own culture. I like to make things whether it's this or any other cultural and traditional crafts, but my hands are really hurting. I really like to do things with the women and not just sit down. Despite breaking her hands, Mariam is using Hafsa's workshops to continue a passion she once had. This, 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 and this one. I made them all. This one behind me is used to build around the house, and those ones are used to build around like this wall. The creations are a modern twist on the materials the women used back home. This is handcraft, it's something new. Hafsa is teaching something about what we didn't know before. It added value, we pass time with it. We have a chat, so when we come together and we get busy with it, then yes, it adds something to our lives. Hafsa teaches them textiles, printing and designing, and she plans to showcase their work in an exhibition. I was just giving them the opportunity to reconnect with who they used to be and I, I do think that sometimes we do lose that and a lot of these women, they're over 60 years old and they have incredible stories and incredible lives and I just wanted this workshop to, for, uh, to be a way of them expressing themselves and this, tell their own stories and take, take control. Gem O'Reilly, BBC London.